So, can you run Lightwave without a floating point unit? Can you just fire up Lightwave on your Amiga 1200 with no expansion? Yes, you can. Would you want to? Well, a little secret. This screen we've been looking at here for the last 20 seconds already has been up for almost two minutes and it has yet to actually start rendering anything. So, you can, but should you? Hey guys, welcome back to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. This is Q and today, I am uh, trying to answer a question that has come up uh, in my uh, ch my channel and as well in the Facebook group. Uh, can you run Lightwave on the more basic um, Amiga computers? Like if they don't have the accelerations, the accelerator cards, if they don't have the uh, expansion, if they could, more importantly, if they don't have fast memory or that all important FPU unit, you can run it. Now the last version of Lightwave that uh, supports not having an FPU, I believe is version 3.5. After 3.5, Lightwave required an FPU. There was just no way around it. They, they started introducing new procedural textures and new features that required the extra math of an FPU. So uh, unfortunately you will be limited to version 3.5. Now I, I'm aware that there are some funky software versions of FPU, uh, I guess simulators or emulators out there. I've Never used one. I've never come across one. I have no information on those. If somebody wants to leave a comment down below that talks about that or expands on that. Uh, but as you can see, as I've been talking here for almost, you know, another minute and a half, uh, Lightwave is, is doing something down here in the background, but it, it is just, it's really, really slow. And all this is, is the depth of field demo, de uh, demo uh, file from Lightwave, where it simply shows some letters uh, in focus and then some letters in the background out of focus. It's a very simple, very small, doesn't have a lot of polygons, isn't very complex. But what I have done with my 1200 here, let me uh, jank the ca camera down here so you can see this. This 1200 has the TF1260 in it and I've gone ahead and just run the non-floating point version of Lightwave, which you can do. And the non-floating point of Lightwave will ignore that FPU in the 6860. So now finally, after almost three minutes, I'm starting to see Lightwave rendering something. Here you go, look at it go. So, but what I want you to know is that you might be thinking, well, that's not terribly slow. Now, now that it's actually started rendering, that's not so slow, but this is still a 6860. So this is a 6860 running at uh, 50 megahertz, with its FPU features not being used because the version of Lightwave I'm running doesn't have that code in it. So yeah, it's if you have a 6860, like this 1260, it's possible. So, and I guess I, this is, I use this as, as an example because I know a lot of folks out there are buying the TF1260 with the EC060 chip in it because it can be, um, I guess, it's able to run the non-FPU 6860 because of course the 6860s with the FPUs are incredibly um, hard to find and they're also terribly expensive. Well, again, while it is possible, it just, I mean, this is a super low resolution. This is, I think 120 or 160 by 120 pixel resolution render right now. And it, as you've been watching, as I've been talking here, you, you just see how slow this is. I mean, it's again, it's possible, but it's just not that great. Now, one of the things you can do on the cheap for your 1200, if you get a 1200 and it only has two megs of chip RAM and has nothing in the trap door below, you can get one of these. These are fairly inexpensive. They're, um, they come with the eight megs of fast memory. Uh, they usually have a little option where you can put on a, a battery backed up clock on board too. They also come with the all important uh, math coprocessor, the FPU. And these are super cheap. You can get these for like 60 to 80 bucks, um, maybe as high as 100, I guess. And they even have jumper configurations on them so that you can uh, adjust whether you wanna use the FPU or not or how much memory you wanna use so it'll work with your uh, PCM. CA adapter in your 1200. And this one is currently configured to eight megabytes and the FPU is turned off because I was doing some testing uh, with this. And I had actually taken out the TF1260 and put this in 
with the FPU off just to see how a 1200 with two megs of chip and eight megs of fast memory from this, this little bad boy, um, how it would behave. And if the 68060 that's in here right now is this slow, can you even imagine how slow it was when it was only running with a 68020? So as excited as creating uh, retro pixel art on these old Amigas is, there definitely is, a, you know, balance of how slow can you really get and still be plausible, like where you can actually be creative with it and get things turned around in a time where you can you can see it. So that's that's why. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and stop this right now. It's only on pass um, a four of 17. And this is, again, I will show you here. We're at, yeah, 160, 160 by 120 resolution. And you saw how slow it's, that is. I mean, our, my, our videos are running for six, six and a half minutes now, and we still haven't seen a completed image. So, and again, if you look down here, yeah, this is indeed uh, Lightwave 3.5. So what I'm gonna do is, um, and here's the, let me show you the scene. So this is the, the fuzzy sharp. So again, this this demo scene was to show you how Lightwave does out of focus effects. So this would have been sharp text, this would have been fuzzy text. Now, this is the uh, non-FPU version of Lightwave that I have. So that's, again, Lightwave 3.5. We're gonna quit this. And now, up here, we're gonna launch the FPU version. So this one will use the um, FPU that's uh, in the 060 along with all the other awesome 060 stuff. And this is a newer version of Lightwave uh, 5.0. Yes, Lightwave 5.0 is a little faster. They did improve the rendering speed from 3.5 to 5.0, but most of that was because of the FPU additions, not anything that changed massively in the, uh, the code. So we will go back to demos. We will go to DOF. Okay, <laughs> so now we have the one I had loaded in Lightwave 3.5, but now loaded in Lightwave 5. So now we're gonna go through here, set this to the same settings, square pixels, super low res, 160 by 120, and 8-bit ham. And now we're gonna press F9 using the full power of the 1260, 68060, and all of its amazing things, uh, all the FPU instruction sets. And already this, you, this is, you can see, look, we're already rendering. And look how much fat that again. All I have done is run the full floating point version of Lightwave versus the non-floating point version of Lightwave. So you you're seeing right here before your eyes that that difference in render speed. So look how fast it's going through and drawing in those letters. Um, it's only been what 20 seconds, and we're already on past three of 17. Now we're on four of 17, and I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. Okay, so there it is, complete. You've got the fuzzy and the sharp, and that took uh, two minutes and 18 seconds. So two minutes, 18 seconds, and um, that was on a TF-1260 full Lightwave 5.0 FP version. That's, and that was at super low res. Now that resolution is pretty, pretty crappy and low resolution, even for an Amiga. But, you know, multiply that two minutes uh, times four, all right, so eight minutes, and that's what it would cost you to render it at a more kind of anim friendly format of 320 by 240. So not, you know, horrible. That's eight minutes per frame. That's not terrible. I mean, that's that's doable. You could render that overnight or you know, in the afternoon. All right, so as you can see, having those FPU hardware instructions makes all the difference in the world. Uh, it drastically improves the speed. You can see without the FPU, the 68060 gets massively crippled in speed, it's just obnoxious. So the next thing you might be asking, well, that's fine and good for those out there that have the, you know, the mega bucks and the big check checkbook and, you know, they bought Bitcoin, whatever, and they can afford 68060s, right? What about if I want to have something more reasonable? What about the card you mentioned earlier? So yes, we've got this, we've got the, this, this amazing card that I picked up from uh, Amiga Kit, and this has the 6882, uh, I believe, right? Is it 6882 or 81? Whatever, it's an FPU on there. It has eight megs uh, of fast memory, which I currently have configured now to 5.5 so that the PCMCA slot will work. But I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the full eight megs just for this test. I'm gonna take the 1260 out of this 1200 and then put this in. So now we're, we're gonna be able to get a comparison 
of you saw what the 68060 FPU did with this scene. It did it in two minutes and 18 seconds, right? So now we're gonna see what the Amiga 1200's 68020 with a FPU can do the scene in. And this is a heck of a lot more available and more cost effective. How, how much worse is it gonna be? Okay, I am gonna go ahead and just rip into this as quickly and as efficiently and as safely and as gently as I possibly can. Oh my gosh, okay. So as you can see, go! Oh. Was that fast? I thought that was fast. Was it fast? Was it? Hi! Everything's going great. There were no accidents. So as you can see, yes, this is my 1200 and it's got some goodies in it. It's got the uh, the OS 3.2 in it. It's got the real time clock and the got my little um, compact flash. And I've got my scan plus AGA over here, kind of slightly off camera, but I don't want to touch anything because we see what happens when I touch things. And then of course, yeah, the big dog, the recently flashed and updated 1260. Um, we're going to go ahead and unplug this by giving it a little, Oh, there you go. Gently pushing on this and then on the plastic doohickey and just kind of letting her fall out. And then just setting that aside. Chip's definitely a little warm after doing that rendering, but not excessively warm. That's what I like about the RC5s. So then we've got our MathCo memory expansion. Let's put it in the right way, Q. Um, since I already have a real time clock over here, I don't have the module on this. Pop that in there. And let's put this back on like so. And then we'll just kind of lay that, da-da, look at that. Okay, we are back. And as you can see, uh, everything looks pretty much the same. I have my two megs of chip memory now, but now, yeah, I only have eight megs of fast memory. And if we go over to Workbench, see, even the icons are loading a little slower. Go over to our trusty sysinfo. Everyone loves sysinfo, I know. Speed, there you go. It's a 6882, and then it's a 68ECO20, because that's what the 1200 has. And uh, yeah, so, you know, we're getting a nice little bump. It's going, it's going on. All right, you know, 2.95 MIPS, 0.4 MFLOPs, and a massive 2828 dry stones. Okay, but the important thing is, this is a far more practical 1200 um, thing you could you could own, you could consider owning. Far more, uh, what do you say? Uh, you can afford this, right? So let's go ahead and run the Lightwave FP, and it, it should launch. It won't complain because there's an FP floating point unit, and ooh, already just doing the basic. Just the basic rotation here. You can feel the diff the difference in speed between the 68020 and the 68060. So there's that's already noticeable. And verify the settings again. Square pixels, super low resolution, 8-bit ham. Okay, so you can always rewind the video to see how slow um, the 68060 with no FPU handled this, how, how it handled this. And it did, it, it was so slow that I, of course, never even let it finish. And then we showed how fast it was with the FPU enabled. So now, here we go. 68020, but with an FPU, what's it gonna do? So it's already computing our shadow maps down here. That's good, That's there's, there's two of them. So that's pretty good, it already got to that phase. Now on the um, 68060 with its FP, FPU unit, um, I believe at this point, you know, it was right around what, 10, 10 to 20 second mark, we started seeing it rendering the letters on the screen. So we are not seeing the letters yet. And now, finally, after having to skip forward in time a little bit, we are getting to the rendering of the letters. And just looking at how fast it's rendering these letters and considering the wait time for the shadow map calculation. Right now, I would say this is maybe slightly faster than the 68060 running without its FPU. So this is interesting. I mean, you can just, you have to kind of have to decide for yourself, I guess, what's more available. If you can come across a, a 1260 with an ECO60 in it with no FPU, obviously, if you're, you're mostly playing games, 
that's going to be great for you because it's going to give you all the, the fast acceleration for the games. And then, yeah, you can still do 3D creation stuff like this with it and um, know that, yeah, while it won't be anywhere near as fast if that 68060 had that precious FPU in it, it's going to be about as fast as one of these fast RAM MathCo expansion cards with a stock 120 in it. Yeah, this is, this is about on par with that 68060 without its FPU. So, I mean, here you go. Here's video... Here's video proof of how this works. And I guess the, the biggest takeaway from this video is, yeah, in 3D rendering, having a hardware FPU is extremely important. So if you took the 68020 without its FPU, I mean, you could see that the, the performance curve is just going deep into the basement. Not even worth showing. So I know I've just barfed out a bunch of numbers at you and things, FPUs and O20s and O60s. But I hope uh, you, know, you can go back and you can scrub through the video and, and figure out the nonsense I'm trying to show you. But I think that, that you just get the idea that, yeah, you really want an FPU. Uh, if you want to buy a, a TF-1260 without an FPU in it, yeah, it's great. You, you'll, you can play games and they'll be fast. And you can even run 3D software. It just won't be the, the newest version of the, of the old software that doesn't really exist anymore, right? But uh, it, it, you're, you're leaving a lot of speed on the floor, a lot of speed. I feel the need, the need for speed. All right. Thanks for watching.